Good morning, everyone. This is April Bird coming with your daily word of encouragement. Today, my topic is going to be, have you ever bargained with God? And my scripture verses I'm going to come out of is Exodus chapter four, verse 10 through 17. And um, this is when uh, God was telling Moses that he was going to send him to Egypt to rescue his people from um, Pharaoh and the Egyptians because they had enslaved them. So Moses is skeptical about going. So Moses is starting to make excuses of why he should not be going. And so God is letting Moses know in verse 10 that I'm going to go with you. And this is what you need to do. God gave him a few miracles that he was performed a few miracles. He actually had him to put his hand in his bosom. And when he took it out, it was white as leprous. And then God said, um, gave him a rod. He said, what, what do you have in your hand? He took that rod he had in his hand and turned it into a snake. And then he said, if they don't believe these two things, then I'm going, then you're going to, we're going to, you can take water out of the river and we're going to turn it into blood. But Moses was still skeptical about going to rescue the Egyptians from Pharaoh, the, the Israelites from Egypt. So Moses goes on to say, I'm not eloquent in speech. I am slow in my tongue. I'm slow in my speech. And God says, aren't I not God that gave the, that make the mute, that make death, that give sight? And give blind and blindness. I will be with you, Moses. I will be with you. I will go before you. I will speak for you. Moses was still, he wasn't hearing it. Moses was really still complaining. He was, I, I don't want to go. I, I'm not that person, God. And at that time, Moses said, Lord, Master, send someone else. And at that time, God became angry with Moses. And God says, is it that your brother Aaron, the Levite? Here he, he, He's coming now. And when he comes, he's going to be glad in heart. He's going to be glad to see you. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to be with you. I will be your mouth. I will use Aaron to speak for you. I will tell you what to say and you will tell Aaron what to say. You will be his mouth. I will be the God and you will be his mouth and you will speak through Aaron. He communicates well. So beloved, do have, do you bargain with God? Have you ever bargained with God? God has told you to do something, but you're still, you're, you're you just don't feel equipped to do it. You're like, God, you have to be looking for someone else, but not me. And God said, yes, beloved, it's you that I'm looking for. I want to send you. I'm going to send you to go to Pharaoh, I'm going to send you, Moses, to go and to rescue my people, the Israelites from Egypt, from the Egypts, Egyptians. Beloved, have you ever bargained with God? Because bargaining with God won't get it. When God calls us to do something, beloved, it's going to be something that we don't feel comfortable doing. We're going to feel that like, we're going to feel like we, we're not skilled to do it. We're going to feel these are human feelings these are normal feelings that we would have that God would call us call us to do something that out of the norm for us beloved Moses did not want to go Moses said he was not eloquent enough Moses said that he was slow in speech Moses said he was slow at the tongue a lot of scholars would say Moses stuttered some scholars would say Moses was eloquent because the Egyptians were very knowledgeable and eloquent in their speech. Beloved, we, I don't know which one it really is because did Mo, was Moses eloquent in speech, but he didn't have confidence in himself to go and do what God said to do? Or did Moses really stutter where he didn't, he didn't feel comfortable speaking to Pharaoh to say, let my people go, let God's people go because he did, he was not comfortable with how he spoke. Beloved, whether, whether it was the, he was eloquent or whether he stuttered, beloved, God still used him. God still sent him to rescue his people from the Egypt, Pharaoh and the Egyptians. So beloved, I know 
that God calls us to do things and we don't feel equipped. We don't feel like we have the education. We don't feel we're, we fit the description of the what society say we should look like or what we should have, the knowledge. But beloved, when God calls you to do something, we have to be obedient to, and do what God has called us to do. Because God told uh, Moses, he said, I'm your, I'll be your mouth. Aren't I God who gives, who makes deaf, who makes mute? And aren't I not God who makes blind and gives sight? I'm God. I will be with you. I will be with your mouth, Moses. But Moses still, Lord, send someone else. You got to be mistaken. Send someone else. And God became angry with Moses. But I thank God that he still sent Moses, but he sent someone to assist him. Beloved, God loves us and God has created us on purpose with a purpose. He has a plan for all of us and we have to be obedient to God, even when we don't feel equipped, even when we don't feel we are skilled to do what he has called us to do. God will go with us. God will go before us. He will go. He will be with us, beloved. He will speak through us. Our job is to be obedient and say yes. Beloved, I know it's not easy to say yes to God, but we have to. He is God. I pray that today will be the last day that we bargain with God and that we try to get out of an assignment that God has specifically given to us. He loves us, beloved. He wants what's best for us. He has created us on purpose with a purpose. He has a plan for us. And we have to get to our destiny, beloved. And we have to get where God wants us to be. We have to, in order for us to do that, we have to be obedient to God. We have to do what he's called us to do, even if it's not popular. Even if it makes us feel so insecure or makes us feel like we don't have the, uh, don't have the confidence or the skills to do what he's called us to do. Beloved, trust and believe that God will provide. If he sends you to do something, he will go with you and he will go before you, beloved. So I pray today will be the last day that we bargain with God and that we will give him a yes. Because he goes before us and he loves us so much. And no matter how you see yourself, no matter if you think if you think that you fit, you don't think you fit the description. God says you fit the description. If you don't think that you you, you matter. God says you matter. If you don't feel that you, you're capable of doing what God has called you to do, love, God will equip you. And sometimes it's better to, be, to feel like you can't do it. Because at, t at that time, that means you're humble enough that God has something to work with, beloved. So today, no more bargaining with God. We say yes to his will, knowing that his plans his purpose is what's best for us. He's going to go before us and he's going to make our crooked way straight. He's going to do everything we need. He's going to provide the way for us to do what he has called us to do, beloved. Be blessed today. I pray that you um, were enlightened and I pray that you were encouraged to trust God and to stop bargaining with him and believe him. Take him at his word, beloved, for he is trustworthy. I love you and God loves you more. We're going to close out in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we honor you. We bless you. We magnify your holy name for you are a great God and everything you do, you do well. We love you, God. Lord, we ask that you would just go before us today, Lord. Lord, forgive us of our sins. Those things that we've done that were not pleasing to you, God, I ask that you creating us a clean heart, renewing us a right spirit. Lord, thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for allowing us to see this day that we've never seen before and we will never see again. And it was only by your grace and your mercy that we have not been consumed. Lord, we did not do anything to wake up this morning. We just say thank you, Lord, for your grace, Lord God. Lord, we ask that you go before us this day. Provide us. Provide for us, oh God. Order our footsteps, oh God. 
give us wisdom and understanding. Help us, oh God, not to bargain with you any longer. Help us to say yes. Give us an obedient spirit, oh God. Lord, when we don't feel the com- when we don't feel confident enough or have feel that we have the courage enough to do what you called us to do, Lord, give us the strength to continue to move forward and to say yes to your will and your way, Lord God, because you will speak through us. You will go before us, oh God. You will give us everything we need to do what you have called us to do, Lord. Now, I pray, oh God, that you will prepare the way for us, oh God. Prepare the places that you're sending us, oh God. Give us the courage. Give us the boldness to continue in your word, oh God, to continue to do what you have called us to do, Lord God. Now, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. And we just thank you for your word. We thank you for what you're doing and what you're going to do. We thank you for what you've already done. We give your name praise, honor, and glory. It's in Jesus' name we do praise you with thanksgiving. Amen.